Hey guys, Harry here, and we're back again with part three on the garage. Uh, this is part two and a half, in a sense, because today we uh, uh, we didn't get any more until about 11 o'clock. We had, I arrived just about, just got half seven this morning, got a tub in for about a quarter to eight, uh, and then... We basically just sat in the car after that. We didn't. I didn't even open my toolbox. We didn't even load any gear out. We just sat waiting for the, the you know, the uh, forklift driver to arrive. I rang ass management, multiple managers to uh, chase a forklift up. So it was a pretty slow start to the day. We ended up about after uh, the, the first tub had been sat there two hours. About half past nine, two hours later, we went and put another tub in that we we, we got it like absolute piss, and uh, uh, we left that one there as well. And then at about quarter to, quarter to eleven, the forklift driver arrived. We were just coming back off of our snap, went for a bit of an early snap, which I regret now because, um, you know, I wasn't too hungry, but I only had a little bit to eat, and then. We just worked from about 11 o'clock, well, three o'clock. Uh, we'd run out, we used, um, we run out of mortar at about two o'clock. I used about a tub and a half. We knocked up about half a tub of the stiff stuff uh, first and tried to use that first, but it was, it was horrible. So like, I just, we fucked basically two thirds of a tub off, you know, at least half uh, fucked off and then used the soft tub that we'd poured, you know, late, a little bit later on. Uh, and uh, because we started loading out about, <sighs> started loading out about 10 o'clock, it only took us about half an hour to get everything, basically all the bricks we had loaded because we needed some more lifts. Um, we probably need another pack of bricks. And then that was it. We were, Jamie was spreading from about half 11 or so. I started recording about half 11 in this footage um you know uh, we had oh it was just this garage has been probably one of the most annoying garages i've done because i've been thankful for the you know change of brick but god the perps have been fucking massive on the gable on the back i could have got an extra half a brick in the back and it's only like a 10 or 12 brick run i could have got an extra half a brick easily um, and then on the gables, I could have got an extra, I reckon I could have got an extra brick on the back and an extra half a brick on the gables. It was like, you know, the, this garage should be two bricks longer. <laughs> should have two bricks more in it because of the joints that big. It's unbelievable. So, um, you know, obviously we just had to deal with how we could, you know, the mortar obviously we sat there a good two hours at least before we even started using it. Um, so that was on its way out. So we basically used the polar mortar for half past two. And then uh, we started pointing about probably quarter past two, actually. And um, about quarter past two, we started pointing. So we sort of used the, a tub and a half in like three and a bit hours, uh, running this big, long sort of corner. We were all building it right up to the wall plate. I, I had to... Uh, got quite a few courses to still put on it because I need to get the trestles uh, so what we did is uh, we just did that used all the gear up because it was spreading it was speeding me up quite a bit even though I was really taking it steady because um, because this is our last garage we're doing um, I was just taking it taking my time you know you know because it's only it was only Tuesday today and I didn't want to absolutely smash 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 it uh, when we didn't have a forklift driver, I didn't want to go home too too early. I wanted to at least, you know, get a get a day in for for Jamie at least, you know, because, you know, we we uh, we didn't lose out. We did lose out a little bit in a sense, but I got some standing time for waiting around and still managed to make a wage. And uh, he got a full day in, which was which what I'm happy with because he's been having four day four and a half day weeks and four day weeks for the first for his first couple of weeks with me and. Uh, you know, uh, I got I was ill one of the weeks as well, so that that was a two day week and we had some rain. So if I can get another four day, at least a four day week in for him, you know, I'll be happy. Um, I just you know people forget as well, you know, bricklayers in general. 
you forget if you got a, this is the reason why I pay people on a set wage you know you've got someone on a set wage you know they're only getting paid the same every day no matter what they do so you know you you can't at the end of the day be driving them on going come on come on we need you need to be doing this you need to be doing that when you're not there's no sort of incentive to work any harder because they're getting the same whether they work hard or not and uh, the only reason i do that uh have a set wage every day is because uh there isn't any pressure on them to perform in in any certain way you know what i mean there isn't any, uh, any pressure on for them to outperform the previous days uh, there's no greed that comes into it when you start involving people in splits. Um, you know, their wage is basically, you know, a percentage of your wage. So, you know, it's it, it comes to a point of where, you know, they're almost forcing themselves to work harder or drive you on or, you know, greed comes into it. So I try to keep that, that part of the game out of it. You know, you, you the people working with you shouldn't be on price unless the, you know, other layers with you know sort of the same experience and speed and uh you know and and the have the same mindset but when you're just teaching someone you shouldn't put pressure on them like that like today i was going probably extra studies you can see i was you know after having half the morning half the day off with just sat in the car and just pottering up and down site and just basically doing not much of anything you know Motivation had gone a little bit today, but I was still happy that we actually got some gear finally. And I was happy we used the gobble we did because it was pretty much coming to the end of its life. And we were using, like normally after two hours, we'd have, because of Jamie speeding me up considerably, get uh, pointing, getting muck, getting gobble and, uh, and stacking bricks. Uh, and also now spreading, you know, uh, we're getting through a tub in about two hours now, so I can definitely see myself, um, especially when the old old man's with us on the next job, we'll be definitely getting through about three tubs a day if we're on brickwork, um, because I'm gonna, I've trained Jamie up on the silo, he has a good idea of how to do it, um, if the next site's, you know, the silo's any pretty much decent, if it's one of the newest type of silos, you shouldn't have any trouble getting mortar. But I'm going to put the one on in, on a morning because I get here before everyone. I get here probably about half an hour before my dad and Jamie will be. And then um, I'll put the first one on and then go over and set profiles up well. When probably once we've used the first one at about 10 o'clock, probably get Jamie to put another one, another half in and probably use that up until about half 11 and then I normally have a snap half 11 or half 12 and then work half 12 well you know half past three four o'clock it's seeming like now like we left it uh, Jamie left at three today I left a little bit later I left at about half past because I was I had to push I didn't realize but when he'd gone we, yeah, I had to push the tub back up to the site uh, to the silo at the top of the site because we didn't have any more tubs uh, but then when I got up there we had another tub but it had a hole in so I didn't really need to do what I did but I sort of did it anyway because I wasn't quite sure and then because when while Jamie was joining the back of this up at the end of the day um, I was setting some trestles up I set trestles up I'm ready to take the back up to full height and then to wall play height and then I have to leave a little little section out, little brick, uh, one one brick by half, you know, just one brick by one brick sort of square out the corners for the corbels. So I just put some ties out there for them, and then I'm going to uh, then I'm going to build a big rack back as high as I can reach with because uh, I've returned the trestles around the corner. I'm going to build a big rack back as high as I can reach off the milk crate, and then uh, I'll just be running that in. I'll be basically just running that in at all. Basically, I'm going to try to get as much work as I can out of this garage because it's the you know, because um, that's what I've agreed to do. I've agreed to get you know get it as high as I can for them because they're wanting this garage up. So when they put the scaffold up, it's just a case of someone building the cobbles and then you know running a bit up on the peak on the pikes. Cuts obviously red sorted. You know um, all pillars will be done. Lint will be on bricks over the lint all block over the lint all. I'm going to do all that off the trestles if I can reach. I'll at least get the lintel on, even if I can't, and get the wall plate ready for wall plate. Even if I can't, you know, put bricks over the lintel, it'll be just, uh, it'll be just what it is. You know, I'll try to get everything up to where someone can just bang a roof on it and then they can finish it in a day or so. 
Um, uh, but yeah, uh, you can see Jamie spreading. I've got him spreading just how I spread. You know, people say, why haven't you got him putting grooves in and stuff? I just didn't need them. These bricks have 10 holes in. Um, and I, you know, I believe teaching people the way that, you know, you lay yourself, you know, I'm, I'm teaching him basically how I wish I was taught years ago. Um, teaching him to put, you know, a nice bed on, uh, especially on garages. This, as I was saying, this is like sort of how you spread from a garage, making sure the bed joints are full at both sides. We had no issues jointing at all. You know, we were getting full perps, full beds. Um, it's something I don't, I, f I find I don't get all the time on pick and dip, especially on garages. So I went back to traditional, especially with him spreading for me. Uh, I was putting the perp on the brick. I was putting the, picking the brick up and perping it in my hand. I was changing all sorts of ways. Just so I was just showing him mainly how you can do it and what you find easiest. I'll get him laying in the next couple of, in the next couple of days, probably, probably when we get back on, back on houses next week. Um, probably get in laying a few blocks because depending on if they let me set the brickwork up first I like to do brickwork first but I find every site that these days just wants you to do the block work and then point the back of it you know it's it's one of them you know I'll, I'll get used to it depends on it. it's the site manager's preference more than anything um, or the you know whatever the NHBC like sort of like to see on the site you know it's just sort of all sort of situational well you know we'll, we'll see how it goes you know i only use aluminiums anyway so it's not like i'm using blakes or anything that really is affected by doing your block work first i've always sort of done block work first when i when i was last on houses which was <coughs> fucking hell properly um probably like three years ago when I, last time i built plots consistently was like three years ago and we always did fucking we always did as block work first to be honest uh, but I'll be doing things quite a bit differently. Um, you'll see in next week's video, uh, you'll see that uh, how I go about things. You know, I, uh, I'm i probably very similar to a lot of people, but, you know, I have my own little ways of working as a small gang, obviously as like a one and two, because um, my old man will be doing a couple of days a week. I think he'll be doing a Monday, a Wednesday, I think he'll get loaded. It depends how much he gets loaded out, how he's feeling. He'll probably do a Monday and a Wednesday. And then we're having, we're having, I'm having Friday off this uh, next week anyway, because our lad's, our lad's uh, birthday is two. So we'll see how it goes. Probably end up, because to be quite honest, Jamie's that quick at loading out, you know. Um, the old man can, can probably just load out a gable and then do some pointing for the day, you know what I mean? Do some pointing. Well, Jamie's laying, well, Jamie's spreading, you know, I'll get him probably laying a few bricks. Um, you know, the bricks on the next job we're going to, they're a bit of a different style. They're a, they're a Marshall type of brick, like a common with a face. I've laid them before. They're really good, actually, for one and one gangs or, you know, one and twos or, you know, sort of a, a small gang like myself because I've been obviously converted to profiles now. Um, they are basically a must with those type of bricks profiles because they, they, they tend to, you know, they tend to sink a bit if they're wet. They tend to, you know, slide about a bit. They don't go off very quick, so that's ideal for me. I hate bricks that go dry quick. It's just a, it's just a ball ache. So we're going to be pulling some big corners on next job. Um, ideal for, you know, learning Jamie, you know, not too big a runs at once. We, I'm not a big fan of doing massive runs anymore. Um, I just like to pull big corners and fill in my racks. And because you can sort of split splitting house up and i'm doing this with a garage you're splitting your garage up into four little builds uh instead of big instead of two big ones you know if you're doing two gables uh, especially like these pillars as you can see this has like a you know a brick and a half pillar on the front of these garages and you can see i've pulled most of this i've pulled basically you know obviously i'd built them two corners previously on the saturday and i was just finishing off that pillar uh you know on the monday and i just obviously i pulled the whole gable in with two big racks and then now I've pulled the back and, you know, basically, you know, two thirds of the gable in the second build. So I've split this garage into um, sort of three, three, three slash four little builds. And it makes it a bit more manageable. I find you get through, it makes the pointing a bit easier, obviously on a garage, but on an house, obviously, because you're only pointing one side, you know, of your brickwork, obviously it's cavity and, um, 
depending whether they have it's a radon tray or it's just a cup you know it's a four inch with a, another four inch at 150 higher um, with a drop zone uh, depending how I'll go about the uh, how I'll go about you know cleaning trays and stuff I'm I'm, I'm hoping it isn't buried on trays but if it is you know it is what it is um, and then and then basically you know we're just going to be pulling big corners uh, getting him I'll probably teach him to V the spread there depending you know just so to reduce cavity droppings if we are doing as uh, you know brickwork is what work first that's the one thing I like about doing brickwork first you can you know make sure you you can cut all your cut all your snots off clean them off the uh, you know off the damp below and then you know you can carry on with your block work but you know it is uh you know i'll try out a few different you know i'll try a few different methods out and i'll be just taking it a bit steadier for the first couple of days since i'm just getting back into the swing of things obviously new sites uh, new firm new job you know it's um you just you know make sure everything's you know pretty neat and uh everyone will be sort of my dad will be getting used to what to because he don't know how to load out and houses and where you want stuff so i'll have to tell him uh showing james it's same thing but you know he's you know he's doing well he's the lad you know what i mean he's uh to, to be quite honest it surprises me how, he, how how easy he picks stuff up because i didn't pick stuff up this quick <laughs> and it fucking frustrates me because i want that i wasn't that good when i first started to be quite honest i know pete you know you'll see me laying bricks now and they'll look like i'm I hope I can make it easy, but I want I want very good to start with, you know. Not all. It took me tons and tons of practice. I was at college three years before I stepped foot on a building site, and then, even then, I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. Um, so I've had hours and hours with trowels in hand even before I went on a building site, and I still want as as proficient as you know as God watching Jamie, watching Jamie. I think fucking hell, Jesus, I didn't have a fucking clue. Uh, uh, at that experience but you know he's picking it up well it helps watching someone you know when i was when i was coming up as a bricklayer when i was younger uh, as an apprentice you know the bricklayers i were working with they weren't they weren't you know super fast bricklayers they weren't you know they were good but they weren't you know you know at that sort of high level price standard you know where you're earning you know where you're laying efficiently you know they weren't efficient with it with this with the time and the speed so it was uh, it's something that you know as you can see got just Jamie laying out you know a nice thick spread. Obviously the mortar was on its way out at this point, so it wasn't obviously ideal for him. But you know it, this is something that I'll be uh, I'll be changing up if uh, you know if the bricks call for it. Um, so yeah, that's uh, something I'm looking forward to next week to be honest. And uh, obviously this week I reckon we'll get, I'll finish this garage on Thursday. Uh, depending on how just high I take it, to be honest, you know, I want to try get at least till Thursday, and if I've got to have Friday off, that's all right with me, and uh, Jamie's all right with that, and then uh, we all rested up. We'll be rested up for next week. Um, but yeah, this this garage, you know, the perps on the back, it was, oh, it didn't look too bad on the on the inside. They looked all right, but on the outside, Jesus Christ Almighty. You know, very big perps, very big indeed. But I made the neatest job I could of it, and uh, I don't think anyone will notice that they're big, um, unless you really looked at them. Because I made such a good job of the jointing, which I emphasised last video. Um, obviously, a few guys said, "Oh yeah, get him, get your labour spreading." And the only reason I've I've uh, I had him spreading sooner is because this is only is we've got, we're on as we're on a second day. Second day we did. Four days last week, and then he's done three, seven, we're on eight. Well, he's on his ninth day. He's on his ninth day. So this is what uh, because obviously losing time. I know it's his fourth week, but it's the start of his fourth week. But he's on his ninth day in four weeks. So that is what we've been up against. You know, with uh, people having off time off of COVID. You know, lack of uh, lack of work at where I'm currently working. So uh, you know, it, it, it's something that you're. Uh, that will it'll be coming on in leaps and bounds in the coming weeks now we'll be flat out and uh you know with plenty in front of us especially with old man helping us out it's going to be a big going to be a it surprises me how much gear we get through now so i'll be i'll be happy to be using three three tubs a day even like today we laid about 350 bricks with a, a tub and a quarter so and we did that in about 
two and a half, two and a half hours. So if we do, you know, a seven hour day, you know, with one hour snap, should be doing about probably, probably easily about a thousand bricks between us all. If there's three of us on any given day, probably close to a thousand. Obviously, if Jamie gets laying a few, it'll make that a bit easier. It just depends on the runs we're on, you know, 800 to 1,000, that's what I'm expecting. I've been doing just with just with Jamie labouring on, labouring on me without even putting, you know, an hand on his trowel, just doing a bit of pointing, a bit of uh, loading up. We've been doing about 650 a day on a, on a, on a nice, on a day where we can get gear. Uh, so, don't see why with him spreading and getting a bit more up to speed with the, how to use, you know, 700, 800 every day. Um, seven, seven or eight hundred bricks. You know, from you from brickwork on any given day, um, without without any without any hassle. I don't think because uh, you know that obviously it slows me down a little bit having to show him. I've been showing him how to butter bricks and how to roll mortar, and it's something that you know it, it takes a little bit of time away from your day, but it pays off massively in the uh, in the long run, making your day easy. Like I've never I've never felt like I've had this much energy for the work I've been turning out just because I've had good help it's it, it, people understate it and um it's something that I you know I, I like you know being a smaller gang there's just less you, you have to basically do less to make a wage but obviously a lot of the time you're making a lot more money because of the efficiency factor that's all it is you're not sort of making tons and tons more money because you know because you know you're exploiting anyone it's because you're just basically are more efficient especially with you know someone spreading for you someone having a one-to-one one-to-one interaction just work you know one-to-one teamwork it works a lot better than big you know th four and twos and three and ones and you know even two and ones you know the wrong two brickies you know two slow brick layers with a laborer won't make, won't make any money so it's uh it's definitely something to think about if you're if you're ever struggling and you you feel like you're spinning your wheels. Try get a try get into try and make a one on one gang, or try even make a uh, you know a one and two if you can get like a either a part time uh, you know old boy like my old man he's he's part time two day a week sort of thing and uh, to keep you loaded out in front is ideal. So yeah. Um, if any, hey, has anyone had this this stomach bug that's been going around? You know, there's a load of guys getting, you know, diarrhea, throwing up and stuff. I I tell you what, I think I've got it. It's absolutely good. Every all the all my relatives I know have had it. A lot of my friends have had it. God, I think I'm experiencing it as well. I hope I hope I don't. I've already thrown up half my Chinese. So, oh, I hope I feel a bit better tomorrow. But yeah, so uh, that was today's uh, video. You know. Um, I don't really have any off off sort of off topic off topic topic to show you know to talk about in this video um i've been trying to make you know go back to sort of somewhat daily videos again obviously i'm not taking as much time with the voiceovers anymore i'm just doing them all in one take and just sort of trying to relax a little bit more while doing them i think i used to you know take too many attempts at doing these voiceovers uh back you know about a month ago or so and i was it, it was getting to the point where videos were taking you know two or three hours to do the voiceover for because you know this video is 39 or 40 minutes long so you know if you have three attempts at that voiceover that's you know it's encroaching on three hours with your editing time it takes me a good half an hour to edit all these clips because there's a good um, at least hour of footage to cut through and I get normally 40 minutes out of an hour of footage you know with like you know like when when I'm you know when I'm laying bricks or whatever I'll go off and speak to a gaffer or have to go and see a forklift driver or whatever someone distracts me and I have to go over and do something and it is actually really helps you learn um, your inefficiency is watching footage of yourself. I know it's really boring. Trust me, I you know I'm about 130 videos down on this YouTube channel, and I can tell you it's very boring watching yourself lay bricks. You know, maybe for you guys at home, you know, obviously you obviously haven't you're watching someone else, so you're seeing a little, a little bit of a different way of doing it. Uh, but for myself, who's already done it themselves in that day, then watching the same 
uh, motion that you've actually already done is just very not mind numbing. So, um, it you know it does highlight your inefficiencies when you've watched yourself back. You know you can kind of learn learn from your own mis your own sort of learn from yourself in a way just by watching. Um, that's uh, that's one of the biggest things when trying to you know lay as many bricks as possible you know trying to be efficient if you've just seen the latest video of charlie collison laying over three thousand bricks on a on a boundary wall jesus christ um that just shows you what you what can be done what can be done i've uh, i've never seen boundary walls like that bear in mind i've never seen them without pillars uh and the the 40 bricks in length uh you know that is they, they are some special bits of work that he's on but Nevertheless, I don't care who you are. I, I couldn't lay anywhere near that number. I'd be happy just to just lay a third of that. If I could lay a thousand bricks in a day, you know, my best is nine fifty. When I was uh, building a bit, when I was building a thirty brick run garden wall with a big pillar, with a big pillar in it, a big eighteen inch pillar, and I, I built nine fifty on that day without profiles. So probably with my new my newfound enthusiasm for profiles. And a little bit more, uh, a little more experience. You know, I know it's only you know a few months more experience, uh, but I could probably top a thousand easily. Uh, just the right conditions, obviously. That's all it is. It's the right conditions, getting fed right. You know, if you averagely doing about three hundred and fifty bricks a tub, you're needing probably at least three tubs to lay a thousand. Um, so that's what probably we'll be doing. Uh, I can see us easily getting through three tubs, um, you know, with my dad and my dad and the uh, with Jamie spreading. Even if he starts laying a few bricks, um, you know, that'll just speed things up, and I'll get him moving the lines up. Get I'm getting him used to the lines and the marks on the profiles. So, you know, it's all going to be a little bit of a learning experience for him, and if we're gonna it's going to take a you know a bit of time in the next couple of weeks to sort of bring him up to speed on sort of things that uh, you know basically the, the best you know the best things he can be doing to uh help 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 the gang out aka me uh so um yeah it just takes time you know guys you know i hear the comments and the you know see the comments in the comment section oh game to do this game to do that but at the end of the day you know i take it day by day you build up your work capacity you know it's his first time um you know it's his first week it's just gone his first week now he's sort of done his first week he's into his second week basically now effectively um in time wise in days wise and uh it's first it's his second week ever laboring on a brick layer you know he's learnt a lot in this time frame you've got to remember it's stressful learning it was for me uh i don't care who you are uh learning's hard so you've got to just take little steps every week you know try and with a different task um you know just build up your work capacity to be able to handle you know multiple tasks the worst thing you want to do is you know stress out someone you're working with by overloading them with like more than they can really handle like i've got him jointing pretty well but you know i, I say to him you know just take your time with it. if you're struggling mate just have a minute you know try again but he uh, he's been pretty pretty good with everything i've set him on with so that is something that you've just got to take your time with people you know i always you know i was never a quick learner you know i hear people tell me this all the time um Luckily, I've not heard them words from Jamie because if I had done, I'd have, I'd have been immediately suspicious. When people say they're a quick learner, it's no, it's normally compu it's a, normally a load of shit. Um, that's just a lot of twaddle that people some people feed you when they tell you that they uh, they can do something quite quick. But it's uh, you know being a quick learner is definitely um, it, it's it's not always the case for you know a trade like bricklaying. Um, and it uh, it takes time, so this is why I'm so adamant on the uh, not rushing things, because at the end of the day, it's speeding me up just being there, not, even without him laying anything or spreading or whatever, uh, just getting bricks more and pointing is is easily enough for what um, for what I for what I need to do to make a wage for us both easily, and um, with the old man there, it's just a bonus because it's just like. My old man's a really cheap help because he he only wants to work half a day. He's told me he says I only want to, I'll just crash a few packs, a couple of packs of bricks out down a gable, 
uh, and then I'll go home because he didn't want to be working any mega hours to his hip. You know, three or four hours for him is easily good enough. So, in the, in effect, it's very ch it's very cheap help because there's not many blokes will do that. So, we're in an ideal situation at the moment. Um, you know, hopefully Jamie's. You know, he, he seems enthusiastic. Hopefully, he sticks around uh, coming into these winter months because that'll really that'll really test him whether he'll really want to carry on because winter is a very different beast to to summer. But it can all depend. You know what I mean? It can all depend. The weather conditions. We could have a mild winter. It's always possible. Um, I'm I'm happy for this this weather getting cooler. To be quite honest, it's just helps my productivity. It helps my just helps my fucking energy as well I, I, when it's hot i don't have the same energy as when it's cold when it's nice and cold i feel like i have to get up and start moving um and the house is cooler as well so it'd be something i'll definitely be looking into next year getting some ventilation or some sort of air conditioning but uh i i was asking an air test man today and he recommended for new houses with with crappy ventilation you know get your air to get get uh some like one of these vent vent things fitted to your house that you know ventilates your air your house on like a, a, a they has like they have like different levels of ventilation he says we i need continuous by the sounds of it so uh so yeah so anyway guys that is basically the video um i've got another probably video worth of clips from today even though it was a very short day i'm still going to record um every day and i'll try to post a video every other day and uh you know try to keep the content rolling for you guys uh obviously you'll probably be seeing old footage because i'll record or you'll be seeing today's footage tomorrow and then you'll be seeing you know probably uh, wednesday's footage probably over the weekend uh so i'll probably you'll probably be seeing your know, multiple videos on the parts on this garage but i'll just go through every sort of aspect of building a garage with trestles which a lot of sites do these days so um it just gives you it'll show you the best way to go around about trestling because there is a way to do it efficiently but it can depend on just the layout of the garage whereas like you know it just depends how many people are working with you as well but i'll show you how i like to efficiently build a garage and really get the most out of it i can so yeah anyway guys thanks all for watching i'll probably finish editing this tomorrow so you'll be probably seeing this on wednesday night all right guys uh, have a, hope you've had a good day and I will see you in the next one.
Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. 